Hi everyone and welcome back to my virtual classroom. For our Maths Easy episode for today, we will be learning right angled triangles. So let's get started. Our topic for today is about right triangle, specifically the right triangle trigonometry. Trigonometry is based upon ratios of the sides of right triangles. The six trigonometric functions of a right triangle with an acute angle are defined by ratios of two sides of the triangle. The sides of the triangle of a right triangle are the sides opposite to your acute angle, that's opposite, and the side that is adjacent and of course the hypotenuse of your right triangle. The hypotenuse is the longest side and is always opposite the right angled triangle. The opposite and adjacent side always refer to another angle other than the 90 degrees. So if the adjacent or the angle is from this side then therefore this will be its adjacent and opposite to that angle Will be its opposite side. The trigonometric functions that are based on the right triangle or the trigonometric ratio is sine, cosine, tangent, and its inverse. So for you to remember it easily, it's called so ka towa. Sine angle is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse which is if this is our angle this will be the opposite and over the hypotenuse we have cosine angle is adjacent over the hypotenuse that's your ka and tangent angle will be opposite over adjacent that is your TOA. Now the inverse of this would be for sine angle. Always remember, it's easier to remember. It starts with an S, therefore the opposite will start with a C, which is call second angle equals the inverse hypotenuse over opposite. And cosine on the other hand, which starts with a C, will have an inverse that starts with an S. Second angle will be hypotenuse over adjacent. And of course, our tangent angle, the opposite will be cotangent, which is adjacent over opposite. To find a missing angle from a right angle triangle, we need to know two of the sides of a triangle. We can then choose the appropriate ratio, whether it's sine, cosine, or tangent, and use the calculator to identify the angle from the decimal value of the ratio. So for example, we are asked to find angle C. First is, you have to identify or label the names of the side. Opposite to our right angle is always our hypotenuse, and beside our reference angle is what we call the adjacent. So since hypotenuse and adjacent are given, uh, therefore we, we use cosine of C equals adjacent over hypotenuse. We will substitute, it will be 6 over 14 for our cosine C. And then to find angle C, we have to do cos inverse of 6 over 14. Therefore, C is equal to 64.6 degrees. Another example. You are asked to find angle X. Next step is to identify the given. The given is the opposite side of angle X and the adjacent side of angle X. Based on our three trigonometric functions ratio so ka towa towa has opposite and adjacent 
Therefore, to find angle X, we use tangent X equals opposite over adjacent. So tangent X equals opposite is 8 over adjacent, which is 3. Therefore, X will be the tan inverse of 8 over 3. And that will give us 69.4 degrees. Now it's your 10. Alright, now here the question will be finding the value of a missing side, which is K. The first thing that you have to do is identify the given based on the reference angle given as 30 degrees. That's 30 degrees. Opposite to our right angle is always our hypotenuse and K is adjacent to 30 degrees. Therefore, we will use cosine A equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine, our A is given as 30 degrees equals adjacent, which we do not know, that is on K, over hypotenuse, which is 7. Rearranging, making K the subject of our, of our equation, you will have cosine 30 times 7. Therefore, K will be cosine 30 times 7 will be 6.1 centimeter. Let's try another example. Alright, first thing that you have to do is identify R is being asked, which is a side. The given is 50, R is opposite to 50, and 4 is adjacent to 50. Therefore, we use tangent A equals opposite over adjacent. Tangent 50 degrees equals opposite which is r over adjacent which is 4. Rearranging the formula since this is division when you transfer 4 it will be multiplication on the other side. Therefore tangent 50 degrees times 4 equals r. Tangent 50 degrees times 4 will be 4.8 centimeter. That will be the value of the side r. I hope that you have learned something new today and for those that are new to my class, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. And as always, as teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for Matt's Easy Series. Bye!